Welcome to TransOcean 2. So yesterday we took a first look at TransOcean. And now we're at TransOcean 2. Let's jump right into the campaign. We'll start with chapter one from so the So you act. thought that after TransOcean, the shipping company, you had the boss magnate title all to yourself. Well, you hadn't reckoned on new and old rivals. Now it's time to see if you're still up to it. Put the past behind you and step up to a new challenge. Okay, deliver 20 contracts on time. Deliver more on-time contracts than the other rivals. Have 10 million in your account more than your other rivals. Each one of those is worth one star. Get all three, get three stars. Well-known shipping owner files for bankruptcy and loses everything. Rumors of crooked lawyers, saboteurs, and pirates won't go away. But who was behind it all? Shipping company consultant Hiram T. Witherspoon behind bars. Investor Lydia Blythe Smith plays mysterious role. The beginning of a personal vendetta? Famous shipping boss after bankruptcy withdraws to Alaska. Reclusive life as a dog sled pilot. Sad ending for a tycoon? Five months later, Hi there. I know you don't know me, but we have a friend in common. I am Hiram T. Witherspoon's sister, Heather. I'm so glad I found you at last. You have to help me get Hiram out of jail. You probably think it's impossible since you'll never be able to pay the bail. Well, not without your shipping company. But I didn't come to see you without a plan. Without a good plan, in fact. In the last few months, I've been working my way into the shipping business and given it everything I have, but I can't make it on my own. I need you, especially if the rumors are true and that Blythe Smith woman was the one who put Hiram behind bars. I've been able to take out a loan that we can use to found your shipping company, and I've already opened a bank account. Are you on board? I'm begging you. Okay, voice acting levels increase. Okay, you're living in Anchorage now? Well, then let's make that where we put our headquarters. Click once on the port. So, this is what your new home looks like. Okay for a fallback position, but very soon you're going to have to spend more time in your headquarters. And here's a construction site for it on the right. Click on it. Now that's what I call a nice office. And a few million euros sure isn't all that much for it either. I've been able to pick up a ship on the second-hand market, but it's by no means the best. And pity it's only a feeder container ship. But then again, feeders are the smallest container ships, and they can reach all of the ports that bigger ships can't. Cool! Shall we go find some contracts for the ship then? This is the first step to putting together Hiram's Bale. Would you like an introduction to the game? No, thank you. Yes. I think we can muddle our way through. All right, so our boat's got 800 tons, or 800 spaces and 1,500 ton capacity. Let's look for something. I see a lot of stuff. Hello. Just wanted to introduce myself. Clark Masterson of Masterson Incorporated. I see that you've also founded a shipping company. Well. My shipping company's the number one outfit around here, and I have no plans to change that state of affairs. You reckon your company's got what it takes to compete? Well, let's see. Ha! If only he knew. A rookie? Ha! <laughs> You're up for the challenge, aren't you? Show that clock masters and what's what. Yeah, mostly legal stuff with 1F is our super awesome company. Um, and we ship mostly legal stuff with 1F. So this game is more focused on the rivalry aspect. They actually wanted to make this a eSport. Which, I don't know, I guess. If League of Legends can work, I guess anything can.
Where is the map? And speed up. Ooh, we can leave it on high speed. All right. We need to go back here. I'm going to try to spread ourselves out a little bit. So this million, 1.5 is nice. That's 2.5 in total. Well, this is a little better. This interface is a little different, but close enough. Yeah, it's definitely focused on the um, the rivalry side of things. Like they're trying to make it so you can't just pause all the time. Though I have to wonder if that's a setting. Let's see if there's a setting for that. Confirm acceptance in single player. Confirm warning of low bank balance. Is that checked? Yeah, we want to check that. Notice of overdraft. Yeah, thank you. Message when you get paid. Yeah, yeah. Mini game camera. I am never going to get it in the mini game. Auto save. Oh, tugboat strike. Can I just wait if the tugboat strike happens? Pause in single player. Yes. Okay. Back to it. Can squeeze in a little bit more. Oh wow, this guy is absolutely dominating me. Jeez. Havana. Hopefully the uh, going to multiple places will offer us some diversity in contracts. Eh, this doesn't look very good. aren't really great contracts, that's for sure. million to go to Honolulu. There's three time contracts here, though. We're catching up.
All right, I think we might be in the grind here. We might not pull off. Ooh, hold on. This is amazing. Tugboats are in strike where he is. Um, none of these are great. Two more time contracts, though. Take the most expensive ones. He started off beating me, but I think we've caught up. Hey, can I just call it now? Now that I'm in the gold position medal or gold medal position, one of those words makes sense. One point five million. I found a nice little area here totally by accident but it's definitely working for us money wise and time contract wise obviously in any other scenario i would be happy to buy another boat at this point Uh-oh. We're going to fail this totally and completely. What? I can't increase the speed? I can only decrease it? Well, this is going to give him a chance to catch up. I should have stayed in my little bubble. kept right up with our new rival in terms of contracts and bonuses. And we're also one step closer to raising Hiram's bail. Hang in there, little brother. That one last little choice costs us the gold medal. Have at least 25 million in your account, plus more tankers than any other employment. 25 million in your account, more container ships. 25 million account plus more bulk ships. Your oh. new shipping line has taken its first steps and the business is flourishing. Now you have to raise the insanely high bail for Hiram T. Witherspoon so he can escape the revenge of Lydia Blythe Smith. It sounds so simple. 
So we need to start venturing into new territory, boss. Your performance up to now has earned you a license to accept and carry out contracts in South America. That ought to help us raise the bail for Hiram even faster. More contracts means more money, doesn't it? Now there's someone I also need to have a little word with. Lydia Blacksmith? What are you doing here? Stopping you from ruining all my plans. Last year, you ruthlessly tricked and missled me, and you and this Witherspoon character are going to have to pay the price. And now you want to simply worm yourself out of it and buy his way out of jail? Not on my watch. I've known what you're capable of for quite some time, and now I also have my own shipping company, Blythe Smith Monopoly, and I'm going to make life hell for your little shipping line. You can count on that. You'll never succeed like when I was on your side. Whoa! That's quite a competitor you've got yourself there. Seems like revenge is a pretty big deal for her. If I could just give you a tip, you shouldn't keep limiting yourself to container ships, but also add some bulk carriers and tankers into your fleet that will let you cover the contract situation better. Hmm, Mr. Masterson just might be right we ought to consider some new types of ships. Should I explain to you how the whole thing works? No. The most important thing, though, is that you now get... The most important thing, though, is that you now get the bail together. 25 euro, and if... 25 million euro, and... Okay. <laughs> okay, let's just see what we've got here. Yeah, 25 million in your account. Right, so these are kind of quick, quick hits. We've got container ships. They want us to spread out to different types of ships. I'm just checking to see if there's anything we can interact with here. Doesn't seem to be. That's a lot of money to give you to then not let you buy a ship. Aha! I had to find the wharf. Bulk ships can generate... can carry... Bulk ships carry bulk solids and other general bulk freight, such as coal, coffee, or sand. Bring in more region points, bring in fewer bonuses. Or tankers, more money, but fewer points. I think we're going to need a start with a, a nice cash flow generating ship that we can afford.
All right, well, we got our second ship going. They're hinting that we should go down to South America. So we'll make our way kind of in that direction. That's all the way in that direction. Maybe we stop off in LA and make some money on the way. Buenos Aires. We already have a contract to Stanley. Any more to Stanley that we can bring with us? We could stop off here as well. My goodness. Have to slow down to have the fuel to get there. Sheesh. We are getting dominated yet again. At the very least, we need to make sure we've got the 25 million in our account. exactly a great launch point for such a long way not making a ton of money that's a little better i like seeing two million on the list actually two million of buenos aires is better Los Angeles or we could head back to Stanley. Uh, they're claiming we need to get some repairs. Unlike the previous game, Every port doesn't offer repairs. Only certain ones. So we could send you to Lima. Yep, 
Okay, this one, we need to make some cashola. I think Stanley's got another... Hey, we all go to Hawaii. Sheesh. We'll go to San Antonio full speed. Then we'll try to launch from from there to Hawaii. If not, we'll have to go somewhere else. But this boat's not fast enough either way. Let's jump in and see if we can get repairs. Ten million. Oof. Eighty six days remaining. Well, one of your ships is repaired and ready to go. I don't know if we're going to get the biggest fleet bonus, but if we can get our boy out of jail, I think that's all we need to do. This one is three million. This one's three million. Um, I think Lima is a little better. Oh yeah, a lot better actually. Obviously, this one is uh, a lot more story driven, very much focused on the rivals aspect. They also want you to uh, be a little bit more competitive rivals. And there's some voice acting, which, you know, unless it's absolutely terrible, it's never a bad thing. Why do I keep getting contracts that I can't fulfill in the deadline? Hmm. No. Another big boat probably could cause us to make the 25 million back. The Cargo Lloyd. Yeah, see, I, I like these big numbers. There's five million right here. Hmm. 
I don't think we're going to Hawaii again anytime soon. You're in the red. You've got 15 days left to balance up your account or you'll go bankrupt. We'll be fine. Yeah, see? Oh my god. All right, where are we? Let's drop back down to New York. Though LA would be... Eh, I think New York's probably better. You're in the red. You've got 15 days left to balance up your account or you'll go bankrupt. All right. Let's see, Houston's looking good. That's looking really good. Lots of these contracts to get. Now we got to get back up to twenty five million in a month. Stanley with the contracts. Now it's just a matter of locating good contracts and bringing in the cash. It would be nice to have a little extra. This ships have fallen apart on us here. Might need to take it in for repair. Oof, but if we take it in for repair, it's gonna be massive money. Maybe we'll just keep on the grind here. Try to make at least enough to get our ex-consultant out of jail. A 
tugboat company is on strike. You're going to have to get hands-on and steer the boat yourself. Or you can wait for the strike to end. Zero percent chance I'm docking myself. Yeah, the condition of our boats is getting real low. Let's see if there are any contracts to Quebec. And there are, so let's... Well, we got 40 million. We should be able to repair this thing. The chapter ends in 10 days. Oh, doesn't even matter. The chapter ends in three days. Really doesn't matter when the time goes by that fast. That's okay. So there you go. I think that's enough. Uh, you get a sense. This is the campaign mode. Obviously there's a open sandbox. The game's on sale right now. You can get both one and two for like $5. I highly recommend it. it they're toys, but they're fun and they're fun enough for five bucks. So I'd consider it if I were you this was even remotely interesting to you. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.